this is called over under. I think most of you guys have uh, probably worked this in class. Um, you know, I would go here, head to the outside, get heavy here, stuff this knee carefully, not allowing the kimura uh, uh, to, you know, for Tyler to grab the kimura, and then I would pass like this, right? That's the gist. Well, a few more details, but that's the idea, right? So as I'm entering into this thing, I'm hugging, I'm dropping. Notice that I have really easy access to Tyler's leg here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the leg back and carefully drop my hips here. And so what I'm doing is I'm pulling with my shin, my calf, and I'm driving forward with my hips and I'm just holding Tyler's hips in place. So it looks like this, sprawl. It looks like nothing, right? You have to be really careful with this guys because if you're trying this live ever, your partner may not know it, right? Do it in competition. We don't want to break somebody's leg and be like, oh, I got you, sucker. <laughs> more so here at the gym, more than anything else, we want to be safe with each other. And even when you're practicing it, you might not feel like you have a submission because it just doesn't feel like anything. It feels like you're barely doing anything until you've done it a couple hundred times, right? So one leg is here. I dive, I pin. I'm already almost three quarters of the way into the position. All I've really got to do is figure out which way his knees turn. I can feel it. It's against my hip, right? So I keep it there and I go back this way. Everybody see it? And I can spark and drop my hips more if I need to. So my, my hip, my pelvis is right there. It's just going to pop. Right? My pelvis destroys your leg. Does this make sense, guys? The sprawling knee bar. Let's try this 